children how are you all welcome to your online classes children today we are going to start a new lesson tell me if you have to run a marathon and or you have to participate in your sports day what do you require what your mother has to apply if you if she has to wash your very soiled or dirty clothes when force is applied what is said to be done now can you guess which lesson we are going to study today we are going to study lesson number 10 force work and energy now you know very well about these terms right you have studied these terms since standard 3 right we do work in our day to day life and we require energy for doing the work now today we are going to discuss about force work and energy we are going to start this lesson in this lesson we are going to study about force different types of forces force and work simple machines energy we require force for now as you know that we require force for doing anything that we do in our day to day life now you'll ask how whatever we do we require force for doing that thing for example for writing you require force for pushing pulling kicking you require force pushing a door kicking a football squeezing a toothpaste throwing a ball writing on a paper for riding your bicycle for doing all these things you require force right what will happen if you hit a ball with a bat what will happen if you pull or push a bench in the classroom yes tell me what will happen if you will hit a ball with a bat the ball will go to a particular distance right if you will push or pull a bench in the classroom it will move from its place right so what is this what we are doing when we are pulling or pushing things we are applying force right force is applied when football is kicked when pages of books are turned or when we lift a glass of water so we apply force on things when we do anything right so what is force if you see in this picture what are they doing either they are pulling or pushing something right so what is force a push or a pull that acts on an object is called force you repeat with me what is force a force is a push or pull that acts on an object right now what are the effects of force what will happen when we apply force right so let us see force can make an object move force can stop a moving object force can change the direction in which an object is moving force can change the shape of an object right so the effects of force are force can make an object move it can stop a moving object it can change the direction in which an object is moving force can change the shape of an object let us see how now force can move an object for example when you pull or push something the object moves in the picture as you can see the girl is moving the bench so what is she doing she is applying force to move the bench so force can move an object force can stop an object for example your friend is riding a bicycle and he is coming towards you and you apply force to stop your friend 
then what will happen the force applied by you will stop your friend in the same way in the picture as you can see if the ball is moving and you apply force the ball stops right so force can stop an object so what what we have studied till now force can move an object for example something is stationary so the force stationary means which is not moving something is stationary so what we can do when we apply force we can move that thing so force can move an object if something is moving by applying force you can stop that object so force can stop an object the next one is force can change the direction of movement right for example when you say uh, when you play badminton or when you play cricket in the game of cricket when the bowler throws the ball the batsman hits the ball so what happens to the ball the direction of ball is change right in the same way when we play badminton when the shut when we hit the shuttlecock from one side and another player hits that shuttlecock from another side what happens to the cock the shuttlecock its direction is change right so force can change the direction of object or the direction of moving object force can change the shape of an object now just understand that force cannot change the shape of everything right for example if you want to bend a metal rod so you cannot change if you require rather you require lots of force to change its shape right but for example in the picture as you can see if you want to change the shape of dough you can change it by applying force right so force can make an object move for example a rubber ball starts rolling when it is kicked or if it is kept in one place and you hit it with something the ball starts moving the ball moves when hit by a hockey force of a motor can start a fan in this these are the examples which show that force can make an object move means the object was stationary it was not moving by applying certain kind of force we can move that object force can stop a moving object now as we had discussed the ball stops moving when you catch it because it was in it was moving earlier and when you catch it it stops moving force of brakes can stop a moving car yes you must be knowing this that when we apply the brakes the car which is in motion which is moving it stops right so by applying brakes we can stop a moving car right force can change the direction in which an object is moving by simply hitting something which is already moving we can change the direction in which that thing is moving as in the case of badminton and cricket a badminton shuttle changes direction when it is hit with a racket when a moving cricket ball is hit by a bat its direction changes force can change the shape of an object the shape of a ball of dough changes when you press it right so today we discuss about force what is force children a pull or push that acts on an object is called force we also studied how force acts on things or the effects of force what are they force can move an object force can stop a moving object force can change the direction in which the object is moving force can change the shape of an object i hope you enjoyed the session side up